I gave up on being an internet documentarian a long time ago. Nothing phases me. Nothing inspires me. Weird is normal now. Are birds with arms soaking? Rule 34. It's all just regular to me. I'm uninspired. Wait, wait a minute. An email from a new client? The subject is one more piece, please. Huh? Lola, she did like a fish that attractive. No, because I was like, who did this? Who drew this? How did you come up with the idea to make an a, a fish? This is juicy. Wait a second. Wait a second. People, people want, people want to boink Simba. Lola Bunny, Scar, Nick Wilde, Nala. What do they all have in common? A lot of y'all want to boink them. Hi, I'm Mangochi and I welcome you to this exploration that no one asked for in order to find out why are people attracted to non-human fictional characters? Cause some of y'all are on the Boinkerton Express trying to see what that fur do. Now I'ma keep it a book. I was never that kid that was into non-human fictional characters. I had class. It took me getting to my late 20s to realize people want Nala to bruck it down on them. They want to see her throw that eye in a circle of life. I had a friend mention that they thought Scar was a daddy. Soon after, I went on Instagram and saw this. Dude, I was turned on by a lion when I was like seven years old. That doesn't make sense. That was uncomfortable for all of us. No. Okay, look me in my eye and tell me Nala wasn't hot as shit. Then I saw this. I remember telling my parents my first crush was so embarrassing. It was Nala from The Lion King. <laughs> yeah, I loved her. What's wrong with y'all? This is strange to me because I, respectfully, I'm better than this. Barney got cake. Barney got a big bag. Barney's got cake. Barney got that dun dun. Okay, I was cuckoo for Dynasty, but I'm over that now. This is what I don't get. Scar is a toxic king. I, I, I just wanna make sure we're on the same page about this. Scar caught a body. Why does he have a fan club? People that like Scar are the problem. What do you have to say for yourself? Huh? People who like Scar, huh? Cat's got your tongue, but you probably like that. Further research brought me here. And I did, I, I, I loved The Lion King when I was younger and I had a weird obsession with Nala. <laughs> and it didn't stop there. I saw something about someone talking about Mordecai from regular show and girl. You see my vision. I had a crush on Mordecai since I was a little girl and my sister used to clown on me for liking a bird. But like, Mordecai's vibes. Yeah, yeah, game on. I can't with y'all. Tony Stark leaves us and now y'all don't know how to act right. Hear me out, okay, hear me out. And you really gotta open your ears for this one. And maybe also close your eyes. Something about his eyebrows. Maybe I'm passing too much judgment here. I am an unbiased internet documentarian. What else is out there? Look at the way that Mr. Fox holds the wheat between his fingers, right? It's just very light. Nick Wilde, same way. Eyebrows raised, just very flirtatious. And so is Robin Hood. And that is what makes Nick Wilde attractive. An interesting range of foxes. I'm curious, for the audience that stayed on this long, why? And on the topic of foxes, Kuruma? Yay or nay? Speaking about nay, Bojack Horseman? What about the queen from Bugs Life? These are the questions that keep me up at night. I wanna take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe to my Patreon. Corporate America will not take me back after this video, so I'd appreciate the support. We're gonna lose a brain cell or two in this journey, so sit tight. And speaking about cell, I've come this far, so I'ma just say it. Cell had that Gawkenstein 650. His gawk levels were over 9,000. He had that cell -ussy. It probably smelled like selfish. I'm trying to get cell service like I'm stranded in a desert. If real humans and romance are more your thing, check out my dating video on my channel. Believe it or not, there might be a reason for your infatuation. Someone has actually written a book about this. In Dr. Lauren Rosewern's Sex and Sexuality in Modern Screen Remakes, she says, when a character that is putatively an animal speaks with a sexy voice and human physical elements, the producer is presenting a sexualized animal to the audience. None of this is an accident. But in Eddie's defense, <laughs> <laughs> so I get it. If we give animals human mannerisms, it shouldn't be a surprise if people feel human feelings towards them. The animators know what they're doing. That's why people don't really think live action Simba is a daddy. Got it. Not an accident. But you know what was an accident? The 34th edict of the internet, or rule 34, which states, 
Ah, if you know, you know. I don't need to drag you to these depths. Smog? The dragon from Shrek? The spider from Charlotte's Web? Where do we draw the line, huh? Where do we draw the carefully curved, waning lines? Deliberate masterstrokes by the animator, you know what I mean? Woof, 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 woof. Oh no, oh no, I'm woofing at drawings. Bad dog. I thought I was better than these people. Man, the depths I go to for research. It's just so exciting. Oh, look at that. I found my spark. It's been missing. I think I've found a solution to all this. You see, I've made a graph. It's simple. The further you are left, the more socially acceptable your infatuation. The further you are right, the more you need to repent and leave Earth immediately. So I decided to give a test run with the Attack on Titan Titans. So here's what I've gathered. And remember, the more left we are, the more uh, acceptable. The more right we are, it's getting it's a shaky territory. So the female Titan, and the armor titan all good the attack titan and the warhammer titan that's when we get that's when we get it starts to get a bit shaky there the warhammer titan more of my taste it's an uppies thing if you're into the jaw titan the cart titan i mean <laughs> If you're into the if you're into the cart titan, you may you repent. There's a reason why it's over there. You need to repent about that. The beast titan. Maybe there's an argument that the beast titan should be somewhere in the middle there, but it should be over there. And just nah, not the beast titan, guys. But I needed to dig further. I needed to establish a greater range of non-human fictional characters. But people think about the wildest of things. How was I going to reach these wild places? So in order to top what even God could fathom, I had to charter madness. And these new heights brought me here to an updated chart. So let's start off left to right. If you're into vampires, that's they're very close to humans. Green light. Zombies. Skin a bit shaky, buddy. Barney. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Barney, okay? Who's that over there? We got Simba and Scar. And there's a reason why Scar is to the right of Simba. Just a reminder, Scar caught a body, okay? And y'all are praising him over here, okay? Strange. Then we got this lady from Made in the Abyss season two. I get it, you know, if that's something you're into, because maybe I, that's something I'm into as well. Okay, then we have Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is shaky territory. I don't get I I don't get it. It gets shaky in the middle. We got Plank for Mad Ed and Eddie. I know Repent is all the way over there, but if you have a thing for Plank already, you gotta repent. Is everything okay at home? Then we have the Queen from Bugs Life. <laughs> you need to see a better picture of her. The Queen from Bugs Life is built. We got the thumb thumbs right above her. I know what to tell you, man. This is just guidance, and I think once we're too far right, we've gone too far. We need to go back to Barney territory, because there's nothing wrong with liking Barney. Then we got Going Merry from One Piece. Next is an animated amoeba. Now, if you find <laughs> any type of attraction to amoeba, I don't know. I don't want to pass judgment. That's not the point of this video. I'm just here for guidance, but you might need to repent there. And finally, we have the ridges of Thanos' chin. Repent, and you need to leave Earth immediately. I can see there's many ridges. I just don't know what, what's so compelling about them and what... Oh. Actually, when you maybe that one's in the wrong place. This isn't what Walt Disney intended. When he's unfrozen, he's going to see Rule 34 Mickey and weep. But maybe this was his plan all along. Maybe we need to take these major animation studios to court. That's the strike that we need. And listen, I don't want any judgment for this piece. If John Oliver is allowed to have reoccurring hamster appreciation segments. My collection of hamsters in tiny speed ups. I mean, why can't I mull over these very tough considerations? In the comments, put some of your favorite non-human fictional characters below. This is a judgment free zone. The internet is fascinating to me and I can't believe I ever thought of quitting being an internet documentarian. This was easily the fifth weirdest rabbit hole I've ever been down. The other four are Thumper, Mirko, Haru, Judy Hopps. Okay, that's enough.